A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem and addressed them, saying, Fear the Lord and serve him completely and sincerely. Cast out the gods your fathers served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. If it does not please you to serve the Lord, decide today whom you will serve the gods your father served beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose country you are dwelling. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. But the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord for the service of other gods, for it was the Lord our God who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt out of a state of slavery. He performed those great miracles before our very eyes and protected us along our entire journey and among all the peoples through whom we passed. At our approach, the Lord drove out all the peoples, including the Amorites who dwell in the land. Therefore, we will also serve the Lord, for He is our God. Joshua in turn said to the people, You may not be able to serve the Lord, for He is a holy God. He is a jealous God who will not forgive you your transgressions or your sins. If after the good He has done for you, you forsake the Lord and serve strange God, He will do evil to you and destroy you. But the people answered Joshua, We will serve the Lord. Joshua therefore said to the people, You are your own witnesses that you have chosen to serve the Lord. They replied, We are indeed. Joshua continued, Now therefore put away the strange gods that are among you and turn your hearts to the Lord, the God of Israel. Then the people promised Joshua, We will serve the Lord our God and obey his voice. So, Joshua made a covenant with the people that day and made statutes and ordinances for them at Shechem, which he recorded in the book of the law of God. Then he took a large stone and set it up there under the oak that was in the sanctuary of the Lord. And Joshua said to the people, This stone shall be our witness, for it has heard all the words which the Lord spoke to us. It shall be a witness against you, should you wish to deny your God. Then Joshua dismissed the people, each to his own heritage. After these events, Joshua, son of Nun, servant of the Lord, died at the age of 110. Responsorial Psalm You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me, with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Let the children come to me and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as this. After he placed his hands on them, 
he went away. The parents who brought their children to Jesus wanted Jesus to lay his hands upon them. They knew of the healing power, both physical and spiritual, which came from Jesus' touch. Jesus, in turn, rebuked his disciples for hindering the children from coming. The disciples may have wanted to shield Jesus from the noisance of noisy children, but Jesus delighted in the children and demonstrated that God's love has ample room for everyone, including children. No one is unimportant to God. He comes to each person individually and uniquely that he might touch them with his healing love and power. Do you show kindness to the youth you encounter in your neighborhood, home, or church? And do you pray for them that they may grow in the knowledge and wisdom of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may we never hinder our youth from coming to you to receive your blessing, instruction, and healing power. Make our youth strong in faith and in character that they may follow you zealously. As we grow with age, may we never lose that childlike simplicity and humility which draws us into your loving presence. Amen. Amen.